This here is an earthen structure, um, small house uh, made from um, natural earth building materials. Uh, the primary component being these bricks you see here. These are bricks, not from clay, but just regular soil mixed with uh, straw. Um, you know, pressed into mold and sun dried. Uh, the bricks are about 20 centimeters by 40 centimeters long. <clears throat> so for this structure, the first thing that was done was a uh, foundation that was dug 60 centimeters deep and it was filled with rocks in a way that they will not keep shifting and then all the gaps were filled with cement. So cement was here one material used that is not natural but um, and then this this same foundational uh, base was extended to 40 centimeters above ground. So what you're seeing here the rocks at the bottom though that's 40 the layer which is 40 centimeters above ground but there's a layer of it which is 60 centimeters below ground uh, which looks identical to it in terms of just rocks put on top of each other in a stable manner and the gaps and crevices filled with cement as you can see here you can see the cement between the rocks um, let's zoom out here so you can see the kind of bigger structure um, the walls were made of those bricks uh, the ones we showed you uh, the walls are two two layers thick of these bricks you can see that here uh, one layer of brick and another layer of brick um, to make a thicker wall uh, for better uh, uh, weather weather insulation and then the coating let's talk a little bit about the coatings um, since this is a structure that was done part of a course to learn natural earth building different techniques were done for coating the walls I mean um, here we have this wall is lime with soil that wall over there is a traditional technique uh, done in southern Morocco called Tadilakt, which is essentially done with lime, but the lime is pressed into the crevices and you know layers. And then here we have this wall is gypsum, pure gypsum. Hi. That wall is uh, here uh, lime with sand and the outer coating. Hello. They don't look that different to the eye, but is a lime with soil as opposed to just pure sand lime with soil the other one was a lime with sand the floor here was done in two three layers primary lime mixed with a little bit of earth um, you, you you take more coarser and cheaper quality lime for the first layer then second layer and then you do a finer layer at the top using kind of a tadilak technique the ceiling as you can see those cross rods uh, put on top of the bricks and on top of the cross rods you put the reed reeds running lengthwise and on top of the reeds you put a plastic sheeting uh, that's another non-natural material there and on top of the plastic sheeting you put a layer of earth um, in this particular case they did two layers of sheeting earth then again plastic sheeting then earth the cost of this whole structure uh, is 20,000 dirhams, so that's $2,000. Uh, that's material cost, uh, does not have lab labor cost. Um, and that does not include the windows and doors. Windows and doors will add another $500. So for $2,500, you could you know, make a house, at a small size house, um, using natural earth construction. Uh, here, just, you know, just you can get to see this structure. It's about uh, four meters or three and a half meters by about wow. twice and a half as long. Um, and that's pretty much it about this structure. Um, here you can see uh, one more detail. The, the tops of the doors and windows were not done using arc, uh, arch technique, which can be done using bricks actually. You have to cut the bricks slightly into shapes and have the keystone at the top. Here it was a, what you do is you press, put cross, cross uh, beams, wood logs across the bricks and that serves as the load bearing element for the door top. Same goes for the window top. Uh, you see this window, there are logs here that will hold the rest of the structure above it up. 
Uh, one more thing I should have mentioned, which I think should be known to anybody who has done seen brickwork, is that the bricks are laid in such a way, you cannot see them because they've all been plastered, that you don't have one brick on top of another perfectly aligned. You should have them, you know, uh, staggered fashion. You know, the usual brickwork technique, uh, brick laying technique. And one more thing here. Um, in these mixtures for plasters, it's important to get the amount of moisture right. Sometimes if there's too much moisture, they buckle up and then they crack off, as has happened to a small piece here. This structure was completed in September, and soon thereafter this uh, damage occurred because of the way the mixture was not mixed properly, so the way it dried. And that's, that's about it for this structure.